Noah's a great player. He's a guy that can, uh, you know, every team in the NFL is looking for guys that can get to the QB in about two or three seconds. And uh, Noah's one of those guys. Uh, he's got he's got that speed off the edge that everybody's looking for. And also he plays plays so hard every snap. And uh, you know he puts uh, you know he puts some great stuff on film. And uh, you know we're really interested in Noah. Anytime you can get your name on the, you know, your team's playing on Monday night football and on Thursday night football and on Sundays and you see guys with an, uh, coming from Eastern Kentucky, it just shows you that the level of football and that you can come there and go on to the NFL, do great things, not only make a team, but be a first round pick, be a pro bowler and go on and have a really successful career. Well, I think Noah's draft stock has gone way up since the Senior Bowl. People kind of wondered, all right, we saw him do it at Ohio State. We saw him put up big numbers at Eastern Kentucky. What's he going to look like? Is he going to be able to do the same things against these guys that he did against Eastern Kentucky? And you saw it right away. I mean, the first day of senior bowl practice, he goes against LaRaven Clark from Texas Tech and just abuses him in the one-on-one -on -one pass protection drills. And you think, okay, he hasn't lost a single step, and he definitely looks like he is one of the best rushers in this draft because, you know, you can just tell when a pass rusher can bend and move and uh, we knew he was pretty quick. Uh, did he have the bend? Did he have the, the power? Did he have the moves to, to beat offensive tackles on a regular basis? Well, I think he showed that in the Senior Bowl. He showed that at Eastern Kentucky. It's a great advertisement for any program, but for an FCS program, it's an unbelievable advertisement because the coaches can come to recruits and say, listen, come here. We can help develop you into a first-rounder. Because look, Noah Spence, nobody knew what he was going to wind up being after a year away from football. He went to EKU and developed his skills and got better, and now he's looking at being a potential first-round draft pick. That is tangible evidence that EKU's, that EKU's coaches can use when they're talking to recruits. And you know that's it, you can't deny it. No, no one can negatively recruit against that. Once you have that first-rounder, they can't take it away. A guy like Noah Spence is, is talented, and, and uh, you know, all, all you need is uh, talent and a plan for development, and you'll have a chance. And, and I know, I've known Noah since his days in high school. Uh, we recruited him hard uh, from Bishop McDevitt Academy, and, and um, you know, I'm, I'm sure he's going to have great success. And, and the fact that he comes from an FCS school uh, should not be a hurdle for him to overcome. I mean, anytime you got a guy like that um, in a national spotlight, you know, not only here, the Senior Bowl, the NFL Combine, um, having NFL people come to campus, you know, I think it should just, you know, sell the program more than it's already selling itself, you know, having the spotlight on Eastern Kentucky with, uh, you know, a premier player like Noah coming out, you know, I think, you know, recruits seeing that it should draw, draw you to the program and want to at least find out more about it and find out if it's a place for you. I think it's obvious that, you know, everyone in the NFL is looking for pass rushers and, you know, that's what he is, you know, and, and he, you know, he's just a, Really good all-around player, but you know what separates himself from you know other top prospects in the country is he's a pass rusher. So uh, and you see that in the workout and just through the Senior Bowl and just as we we have as we've gotten to know Noah. So you know his pass rush sets him apart from you know what others can do.